So what propelled you to sell things more than books? We, we, uh, after books, we started selling music, and then we started selling um, videos. And then I got smart, and I, um, I emailed a, a, a thousand randomly selected customers and asked them, besides the things we sell today, what would you like to see us sell? And that answer came back incredibly long-tailed. The way they answered the question was with whatever they were looking for at that moment. So like, I remember one of the answers was, I wish you sold windshield wiper blades because I really need windshield wiper blades. <laughs> and I thought to myself, we can sell anything this way. And, um, and then, so then we launched uh, electronics and toys and many other categories over time. And the, the vision became, because you read the original business plan, it's just books. Your stock at one point, I think, went to $100, but then it went down to six or something like that. At the peak of the internet bubble, our stock peaked somewhere around $113. Okay. And then after the internet bubble uh, you know, busted open, our stock went down to six. It went from 113 to six in less than a year. So My annual shareholder that year starts with a one word sentence. And that one word sentence is the word ouch. So most of those internet companies of the dot-com era are out of business. Yeah. You survived. What was it that made you to survive and virtually the rest of them are gone? Um, I, it was very, that whole period is very interesting because the stock is not the company and the company is not the stock. And so as I watched the stock fall from 113 to six, I was also watching all of our internal business metrics, number of customers, profit per unit, um, uh, you know, uh, everything you can imagine, defects, et cetera. Every single thing about the business was getting better and fast. And so as the stock price was going the wrong way, everything inside the company was going the right way. And um, uh, I, you know, so I wasn't, we didn't need to go back to the capital markets. We didn't need more money. The only reason, uh, you know, a financial uh, bust like the internet bubble bursting is, you know, it makes it really hard to raise money but you know, we already had the money we needed, so we just needed to continue to progress. Well, Wall Street kept saying, well, Amazon's not making any money, they're just getting customers. Where's the profits, where are the profits? And Wall Street kept beating you up on that, and your response was, I don't really care what you think. Amazon was, uh, uh, you know, we, we, people always accused us of selling dollar bills for 90 cents, and said, look, anybody can do that and grow revenues. That's not what we were doing. We always had positive gross margins, it's a fixed cost business. And so what I could see is that um, from the internal metrics is that what, at a certain volume level, um, that we would cover our fixed costs and the company would be profitable. 